There it is, there it is. Oh! What's up, Light Bright Nation? What's up, Light Bright Nation? So, it is the winter 4x4 Jamboree, which is a rad event down here in southern Utah for all sorts of off-roading rigs, builds, makes, and models, and it's incredible. Unfortunately, the Bron well, not really unfortunately, but the Ford Bronco is up at our shop, and the Jeep is actually at the vendor booth at the Next Venture Motorsports booth, which means that today, we're once again out in my side chick, my buggy, and we have a trail that's super, super rad that we want to show you guys. Now, before we hit the trail, guys, don't forget King of the Hammers is right around the corner. We'll be out there January 25th through February 7th. Well, we leave on the 7th. Anyway, come out, show your support, come to the meet and greets at the Bill Stein booth. We race the 4400 class on Saturday, February 5th. You can catch it on the live stream or you can come out in person. Guys, it's gonna be incredible. We're so excited. Now, before we hit the trail we really wanna show you guys, I think what we should do is warm up with a couple of friends. driver I pointed past you I do that all the time good job planted, babe. 
the other side though. So that was pretty good. That was pretty good. But that uh That was a nice little warm up. That XJ on 35s went up that same thing. Okay. Wheel bases, tire, tire huh? compound. The, yeah. But either way. And there's Tyler with his wife's Bronco. About to try the same thing. Let's go. That bumper. There you go. Coming. There you go. There you go. Passenger, passenger. Right there. Go, 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 go. Not too much passenger. Now go forward, forward. All the passengers got forward. Yes. Yeah. Just a little bit. Now come drive. Back driver. How you feeling, bud? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> How's my wife feeling? Huh? That's the Andy, question. Am I in trouble? So he asked the question: Is he in trouble? <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. So his right front isn't spinning, even though he's locked, which means we probably have a broken axle shaft or CV or something on that front right. His car or his Bronco, his truck is. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Technically, it's her Bronco. Yeah, it is her Bronco. <laughs> All right, now that we're warmed up, we're right here by the lake. It's super. Look at this view. I love it here. Look at this. And we've got Simon. How are you? So, this is uh, our new good friend, Simon. He's a, out of Arizona, right? Yeah. It's a High Country Renegades. Yep. And Simon is freaking amazing. He's got this awesome little buggy here. Truggy, what do you want to call it? Is it a Truggy? Yeah, no, what do you want to call it? This guy knows all the trails out here. He actually breaks a lot of trails, creates new trails all the time. Yeah. And this is a new one that we're doing today. What's it called? Twister. Twister. So this one's called Twister. It's like down in a canyon and it's aptly named Twister. You'll see why here in a minute, but this guy's super awesome. We're going to do a lot of wheeling with this guy here in the future while, while we're here because he comes out here all the time. 
Also, we're gonna go to Arizona, yep. and he's gonna show us some cool stuff out oh, there, yeah, right? Sure. So uh, it looks not hard in the beginning, but I'm sure it's gonna get to it. The gatekeeper is a lot, it's really deceiving. All right. That's, <laughs> what, that's what makes a good gatekeeper. All right, let's get to it, guys. dug out so he smashes rear diff. There it goes. There it goes. Super off camber. Whoa! So you gotta pull up and the front dig down. Whoa! Whoa.
fun. I definitely don't know if I want to do this in my Jeep without a transfer case, without an Atlas. buggy but she hasn't actually used any of its tools very often yeah. so this is great for her learning how to actually use cutting brakes and digs and everything All these tools are really fun to use, especially this is our first time really using them, so this is great. Maybe we should go over what all this stuff is, because maybe a lot of you don't even know what she's doing in there. I'm okay. I made it. It was just my hand that went down with the phone. That little chuggy does good, man. I like that thing. Right, right, right. Turn right. Keep it passenger. I'm gonna change. And I'm gonna change.
Yep. You're gonna go right up this. Hey everyone, 
I just want to take a second to say if you're not part of our E3 Off-Road family, head on over to E3OffRoad.com. We'll be doing a trail takeover tour 2022 all over the country in places like our home here, San Hollow, California, Arizona, Tennessee, all over the country. Join us on trails like this, easier ones, harder ones. We'll be all over the country having fun. We want you guys to join us. So head on over and become a member and we'll see you there. Now that I have a minute while we're hiking, I should also take a minute to actually talk about how E3 Off-Road is gonna have a driving school. We're setting up a driving school in West Texas in an absolutely amazing place, and it's gonna be actually in Palo Duro Canyon. Brittany and I won't be teaching every class, but we will be there to teach people how to spot, teach people driving techniques, along with other instructors. But it's gonna be freaking awesome. That's happening this year. And you can learn how to spot like Brittany, and I can teach you a few driving techniques on how to break your rig, how not to break your rig, Oh, and he's just going at it. up over here yeah I'm gonna take Brittany that way and on top of the driving school we'll actually have podcasts webinars seminars all kinds of things throughout the entire year so if you want to get on the live call for live Q&A with me and Brittany oh, where'd she go I think she went for a hike oh there she is Did you go for a nice little hike nice little hike <laughs> we'll have those like we're probably gonna have them like once a month so you can get on if you have anything to ask us about anything in the world we'll be there to answer live for you on e3offroad.com so head on over become a member join our family we want to have you there and we want to see you guys out on the trail I got my exercise in. 
That trail is freaking awesome. It's a ton of fun in a buggy. Definitely might be challenging. Yeah, in a Jeep, I, I definitely think I can do it with a stepchild. It would just be a lot more work since I don't have an Atlas. I can't do front digs or rear digs. I don't have cutting brakes. So I do think it's possible in a Jeep on 40s, no problem. Depends I, how big your balls are, I yeah, guess, really. Yeah. I, think, I think a two-door, an LJ or a stretch two-door definitely would do better than a four-door because of the brake yep. But guys, you got to come try this trail if, if you're into that sort of thing. It would, Dude, it was awesome. And I know you guys like seeing, you know, the Bronco and the step and stuff like that, but it's been so long since I've driven the side chick. I had a freaking blast today. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Lightbright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. And don't forget to come out to King of the Hammers. Guys, as always, we love you. And we will see, see you next, next time. time. Bye. Bye, guys. Britt. Britt. If that breaks, that's coming right at you, so no. <laughs> she can do whatever she wants, but I need like $5 million life insurance. I need, I need to be able to buy me another young new one. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Yeah.